Hi guys, Leonard here. Welcome to Denim Talk number 4. We get a lot of questions about the fitting of our jeans, and specifically how to measure and compare them with a pair you already own. There are a lot of different methods available on the internet, so we understand it can be very confusing. The number one reason for returns is that the jeans are too small. In this video I will show you how we measure our jeans. Also, there are some important factors to keep in mind while comparing, which I'll explain as well. We start with the waistband. Lay the jeans flat on the table. Twist the waistband one third of its width, so it looks like this. This is the easiest way of getting both the front and the back side aligned to each other. Measure the top of the waistband and double this measurement. In this case, double our measurement of 42.5 cm, which is 85 cm in total. Do not measure the waistband like this. Your measurement will be too small and you will end up with a pair of jeans that will not close. In this case you will only get to 40.5 times 2 is 81 cm. So comparing that with 85 it means it's almost two sizes smaller. Next is the thigh. Measure the thigh from the crotch to the side across the fabric. Make sure to measure the entire width and not only from inseam to outseam. In this case we get a measurement of 31 cm. To get to the knee measuring point, we measure 35 cm from crotch down the inseam. This is where you measure the knee. Measure the knee from side to side across the fabric. Again, make sure to measure the entire width and not only from inseam to outseam. In this case, we get a measurement of 20 cm. Measure the bottom from side to side and again, make sure to measure the entire width. In this case, we get a measurement of 17.5 cm. The front and back rise are measured the same way, from the top of the waistband till the crotch seam. The rise is a very important measurement when comparing sizes. The reason for this is that a pair of jeans with a higher rise usually has a smaller waistband measurement compared to a pair of jeans with a lower rise, even though they are marked with the same size. This is because the human body is normally smaller, higher in the waist, compared to the hip area. Here you can see a BO1 and a BO2 both in size 31. The waist measurement of the BO1 is larger than that of the BO2. However, the BO1 is worn lower on the body and when we pull down the BO1 you can see it aligns perfectly at this point where the BO1 is normally worn. So when you're comparing, make sure that you use a pair of jeans with a similar front and back rise. Don't compare a high rise with a low rise. And lastly, we measure the inseam from the crotch till the bottom. I hope this explains our way of measuring, but if anything is not clear yet or you have more questions about measuring, we can help you out. Just let us know in the comments or send us an email. Thanks for watching, see you next time.